On our exclusive story tonight, OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, is about to bring the world's biggest AI supercomputer project to India. And it could sit right next to Pukesh Ambani's Jamnagar AI Fortress. Yes, after months of speculation, it's real. Just try to decipher sovereign, right? Uh, sovereign for sure never means we as a country start looking inwards and close ourselves to the rest of the world. And I think even when government is talking about make in India or uh, sovereignty, I don't think the government also is talking that way. Government mm -hmm. actually is talking about openly, please come to India, invest in India and make in India, right? Mm -hmm. So if chat GPT is coming in India, they are getting great technology, right? Which is benefiting people, but that is actually not what they are signaling. Instead of serving Indian market from sitting in US, mm -hmm. they will rather build a data center and the capability in India. It means economic development in India, job creation in India, lesser latency and better user experience to India. So you are actually benefiting mm -hmm. India by bringing your technology and investment in India. Mm -hmm. I would say this is sovereignty, right? Mm -hmm. uh, even when I am like putting in chips, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and putting the AI cloud, GPU cloud, uh, we also have built our own general purpose cloud, yeah. which we have deployed in government data centers like NIC yeah. and STPI. But that does not mean we are saying, oh, we will not work with Amazon or we will not work with Azure. In fact, we mm -hmm. are very public yeah. that uh, for our NIC cloud, we have actually partnered uh, with Amazon. Uh, uh, with Azure, our, our partnership, I think, is very public. Mm -hmm. So we are actually using their technologies as a part of our cloud, but ensuring that there is an overall control on mm -hmm. the technology by Indians, mm -hmm. right? So that at any point of time, no single person or country should be able to dictate mm -hmm. what we will do and what we will not do. I think you understood what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is sovereignty. Foreign technology coming in and we making the best use of that along with the homegrown technology, I think that is sovereignty. We are able okay. to define our own destiny. That is sovereignty. And here's the interesting bit and the takeaway. Sovereignty doesn't mean blocking foreign technology. It means welcoming OpenAI and NVIDIA, but ignoring Indians control the data, the jobs, and the destiny, as Mr. Gupta put it. Mr. Gupta also revealed a big move, which was Yota has ordered 8,000 NVIDIA Blackwell B200 GPUs, a $1.5 billion investment going live by December, January. With this, Yota will double down on its role as India's AI backbone, powering Sarvam AI with 4,096 GPUs, Socket AI with 1,536 GPUs, and enabling IITs, startups, and research labs to train the next wave of Indian LLMs. This is not just talk. It's actually compute muscle being rolled out for India AI. And we've already heard what Mr. Uh, Sunil Gupta had to say. So if we actually move along and go ahead and understand uh, the entire uh, aspect as far as he's concerned, it looks like a very, very bright future. Because the fact is, he talked about destiny. And we talked about the fact that we are destined for great things. And the fact that now we have to picture this. On one side, Ambani's Jam Nagar Fortress, backed by Google and Meta. On the other, Altman's Stargate, powered by Microsoft, SoftBank, Oracle, and NVIDIA. Side by side, two mega campuses, both claiming to be the backbone of India's AI future. Partnership, rivalry, or the biggest AI alliance in history. Remember, India is already OpenAI's second largest market after the United States. They have rolled out ChatGPT Go at 399 rupees per month, opened offices and tied up with schools. This is no longer India as just a consumer. This is India as the front line of the AI infrastructure war. So here's the question. Will India's AI destiny be written by its sovereign India AI mission or 
by Stargate's US-led AI stack. The way next great Stargate and rise in Silicon Valley, rising in India. And just to show you how fast things are moving, Sarvam AI is set to roll out India's first homegrown large language model by early next year. Backed by the government, scaling up to 40,000 GPUs, four times the ta original target, Sarvam has already bagged 4,096 H100 GPUs through Yota, becoming the biggest beneficiary of India's sovereign AI subsidies. This isn't just rivalry anymore. It's actually two parallel races. OpenAI's $500 billion Stargate, India's own Sarvam-powered AI stack. And whichever side wins, this is for sure, the world will feel the tremors.